Good morning, fellow Del Sol owners and YouTubers. Um, I just wanted to uh, just present and do a quick video on uh, my Del Sol and some leaking points. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some leaking um, areas and uh, things that I felt needed to be fixed. Um, as I have some slight leaking at the bottom left and right corner of my dash area. Um, it's minor for the most part, but nobody wants water inside their, their car. Um, I think there's a few reasons why this happens. Um, I'm covering a couple of them right now. Um, I will be testing to make sure that they do work. I'm almost sure that it will be that case. Um, but uh, just a quick run through. Um, <clears throat> So, there's a, also, there's plenty of videos on this, or whatever it is. I think more videos are covering this, um, this flap here that opens up uh, for natural fresh air, um, depending on how you have your temperature settings or your um, air condition settings. Um, there's a little flap in there that opens and closes, but nonetheless, if you build up enough water inside there, it will, um, it will puddle water into your car. So, uh, I had already taken off the, the windshield cowl that's, uh, that runs along here, or whatever. Um, so, this is uh, just to kind of show you. Um, this in this area here is where the water naturally would fall and puddle itself. Um, and it kind of wraps its way around here and drops inside here. And then there's a channel that runs along the side of the car. And it comes out roughly about this area um, so with that said I mean if you have it all caked up up in here with leaves and, and branches and just dirt then the water has nowhere to to puddle itself so then it then finds its way through here and just straight into here this is also another puddle area where it can then lead to the channel to leak the water but you have to understand, especially in this area, if water is just falling in this area, then it's falling straight into this hole here, which then right under here is the blower motor and it's just open. You can just see the, the carpet and the flooring right there. So it's very important that you do clean that top area there and uh, make sure it's free flowing from dirt um, and leaves and such. Mine is not as bad. I didn't have any leaves or anything. I just have a little dirt going on, but even then I wanna clean it out. Um, these things are notorious for for having leaks I mean if you have one that doesn't leak then perfect great but uh, if you do these are just a couple of things that I felt especially that uh, that hole over there um, I'm not a hundred percent sure on the driver's side where it leaks from that's another um, thing that I'm gonna have to look into um, because there is no actual um, hole here or anything or vent for that matter so it will be something that I will be investigating and looking into but um, like I said, I had already removed the, the cowl off. Um, there are little uh, plastic clips that run along here. And then you have some circle ones that are at the top of the cowl that you have to pop off with a um, small flathead screwdriver. Uh, I'm gonna show you that now. So here's my cowl. Um, it's upside down and as you can see, um, I just wanted to kind of give you a quick overview on things that I did. Um, these are the clips that you have to buy that sit at the top. That sit at the top of your cowl. They run. They're these little ones here. And it's, uh, it's about seven or eight of them. Um, but uh, these are it. Um, you can still get them from Honda. I think they're like three or four bucks a piece. But I just ordered um, a bunch of them from uh, eBay. I just put in the part number for that, uh, the OEM part number for it. And uh, it came up uh, on eBay and there's various companies that make clips that I got a hundred of them for like five bucks or something like that. So, uh, and they're a perfect fit. As you can see, I've already put them in. Um, that's those clips there. Then you have these weird type T clips that sit along here at these points and most of these hold this weather stripping that's uh, that's attached here 
So when you take these things off, uh, there's a way you can take them off. If you turn them, I guess, upright, um, they, they're supposed to come out. Me, I just broke them off because I'm sure they're the stock ones that came with the car. And if not, they were old anyways and brittle. So more than likely, they were just going to snap and break. Um, so I took this weather stripping off first before I took the clips out. Um, there are some clips that are actually attached to the firewall and there's some clips that just hold the, the weather stripping. So I just chose to replace all of them. Um, there's only a few that actually um, clip onto the firewall that keeps the cow down. But again, these are the clips. That is the, um, the part number. Um, this was just the company on eBay that I had found. Um, but that's the OEM part number with Honda that you can reference reference with or look for it on um, on eBay as well. Also, they were like five bucks for ten of them. So, um, and the last thing was this uh, weather stripping. It's a three eighths weather strip, three eighths inch wide and uh, three sixteenths inch thick weather stripping. It's thirty feet, but it has two rolls of thirty feet, so it was well more than enough for me. Um, this is where your other problem exists. Um, most people don't pay attention to the weather stripping right here, and it's a foam weather strip. It's the foamy type that kind of flares back up to its normal um, normal position or memories for that moment for that point. Um, I actually had it it was very old and brittle and was falling apart when I took the cowl off. And this plays a big part with letting water seep in through this to get to that area, um, to get to the puddle area on your firewall there that leaks out. Um, so when you have this weather stripping here, it just keeps the water running from the top of the windshield, I mean the bottom of the windshield along here, and it just finds its way out another way than going up under the actual cowl into that area where it can puddle and find its way out. So um, changing this weather stripping um, it didn't take me long. Um, I was able to use a Brillo, uh, like a soft Brillo pad. Um, I didn't really want to use sandpaper because I didn't want to scratch away the areas where I needed to put the weather stripping again. Because it will happen if you scratch too much and you won't remember the position of where the weather stripping was. Um, you very well then could, I guess, install it on the uh, firewall. But this is one-sided adhesive, so I don't think that would work. Um, because then it wouldn't it wouldn't um, seal the cow the cow part um, to the actual firewall so I just did it the way that it was on the on the fire I mean on the cow here instead of putting the tape on the firewall um, so that's why it's important not to scratch away if you notice it's not I, I was scratching away with it but I, I tried not to take it take it a uh, take the actual position away too much so I could remember where I needed to put it. Along the border of it is generally fine. You know where that's at. But you can imagine if you didn't have a guideline where to put the weather stripping again, then it's pointless in, to put the weather stripping just anywhere because it might not be at the ceiling point. So um, this is, like I said, very important that you make sure you change this. Um, at some point, I was just rubbing it away, the old, with my fingertips. It was getting uh, warm enough to just roll away as I had chipped off the big chunks. But um, I guess um, that's pretty much it in terms of uh, changing the weather stripping on this thing. Um, these things are not available anymore for purchase, so you're just going to have to use the, the one you have that came with the car. And hopefully yours is not all busted up. They are out there to purchase. Um, to purchase on, on eBay and such, but why spend money if you have a good one in yours? So try to be careful with it when you take it off so it doesn't break. Um, but this weather stripping, um, it is something that I did get at uh, Walmart. It was like four or five bucks for the two rolls. Like I said, it's plenty enough for maybe four or five times to resell this thing, but I'm sure I won't have to do this for a while. Um, it should last a few seasons for that for the most part but again like I said this the ceiling of that and he's that weather stripping runs along this portion here 
So it's very important that you're that you're putting the weather stripping in the right area, which I did on the on the cowl itself to make sure that it seals. So you can imagine when the water does fall here, that weather stripping is going to be in between here and the cowl, which will then just make the water just kind of bead itself, bead itself off and just into this area where it can then fall instead of just not doing or replacing the weather stripping. The water is just finding its way through which ideally it can and it'll build up puddles here and find its way around but then it always allows a chance for you to build up too much water here and fall into this hole. So um, that's one thing that I did do uh, to try to fix this um, this leak that I do have going on here. Um, I just purchased this car not too long ago. I got lucky and found um, a USDM um, VTEC model was from 94 that came with the V16 so I was extremely lucky and I got it for a little over a, a couple of thousand dollars I think it was 20, uh, 2700 to be exact so it's nice to just have a car that came with a V16 in that era I don't have to deal with smog or anything like that I can do generally what I want with it V16 wise and not have to stress or worry um, plus as rare of a model as it is this is something I'm definitely going to be keeping um, I am going to be doing a vlog build on this car. Um, I'm just starting with some of the things that I just feel need to be repaired and fixed. I'm going to kind of go through this car little by little uh, from the ground up. Um, the car is completely stock, so it's good that I didn't have a hacked or butchered up uh, Del Sol that uh, most of these kids are actually doing and doing the wrong way in a sense. So little by little, I'm going to be showing you the things that I do. I've ordered a lot of parts for it. Uh, Tame coilovers my wheels are actually on their way i've already ordered tires um, i'm waiting on my camber kits to come um, for when i drop it so i can take it to get aligned um, i'm possibly going to do a right hand drive conversion on this car um, as i've done a few in the past and it's brought the value up extremely high in terms of the cars that i have done that to and sold um, in the upward of ten to fifteen thousand dollars uh, people have paid for the cars especially once they've been converted to right-hand drive but I don't plan on selling this car just because of how rare it is coming with the B16 um, but uh, yeah this will this will this will be a uh, one of the very many videos that I will post of things that I end up doing to this car I just know leaks are anonymous for this for this uh, for this vehicle so I'm gonna do my best as a lot of the parts are discontinued um, in terms of uh, weather stripping and such so you just kind of got to find things out there or repair the ones you have as best as you can. Um, I know I'm going to have a task uh, ahead of me, but I'm just glad to have, have the car, and especially this model, as rare as they are. Um, if they haven't been stolen or, or crashed or anything like this, and this one is, is, um, is actually really straight, good condition. It just needs a fresh paint job. There's not a dent in sight. So um, that was all. I just wanted to... Uh, to let you know about that uh that leaking point there which like i said plenty of videos made on this um but i just felt like i wanted to add mine in as well <clears throat> not too many cover the part of the end of the um the foam weather stripping on uh the the cowl there they just kind of let you know where it leaks over there in that left corner and that's it but they're really not paying attention to the cowl which is a big part of if the weather stripping is bad then it's just allowing more water to find its way into this area anyways so it's best to make sure you replace that weather stripping. Again, it is uh, one-sided uh, adhesive-wise, so I suggest that you just put it on the cowl itself. And that way, um, at the end, you can just plop it back on and, and get it going. But these parts I did find, like I said, on eBay, the, the two different clips. Um, so all you have to do is just generally just find the, the clips that are, they are available with Honda. So go on, uh, online to a Honda parts online site and you can find the clips and part numbers for these and then you just paste that part number in eBay and it will return back parts that aftermarket companies are making that is just fine and perfect. So don't go out and waste the money buying them at Honda if you don't have to when they're the same exact clips um, and a lot cheaper versus four and five dollars a clip versus four or five dollars for a hundred clips. It makes a big difference. Even if I have to replace them sooner than the original Honda ones, at least I have a hundred of them. Um, or they're just cheaper in general. These I had to, I just got 10 or whatever in there for five bucks but the the circle ones i was able to get a uh, these circle ones a hundred dollars for five bucks so um these are a little more detailed probably and cost a little more to make so um that's uh that's pretty much it but i do hope you enjoyed the video if there's anything that i'm missing or any kind of suggestions or anything in terms of the leaks or whatever people 
that know things that I don't in the sense. This is the second Del Sol that I've owned. The first one I owned was like 15 years ago, so leaking wasn't that big of an issue as the car was newer. Uh, in a sense 15 years ago but at this point almost 30 years old these cars are anonymous for leaking so um, if there are any suggestions in terms of leaks and if anybody knows why it leaks in the driver's side um, at the bottom left of the uh, dash then I'd appreciate you um, letting me know I take uh, feedback comments good or bad um, it helps me one way or another just in case I'm saying anything wrong but I'll do the best of my knowledge to say things as as, uh, as good as I can so with that said, um, a happy building, and I will see you soon. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a vlog on this car as I start building it along. I'm just going to start doing a lot of basic things just to get it to get it uh, up and right. I don't want to do a video for every little tiny thing, but the major things, the major components, I will be doing videos on just so you can see the build along the way. But these are things that I just feel that are a fix and a need before all the extras that are added. Take care, people.